All right, what's good, y'all boys? Let's talk about it. Okay, so uh, original PS2 games come into the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So they were already kind of doing something like this if you had the PlayStation Now network. Um, and like, you know, they had like the stupid memberships. Like you got the regular or the, the gold or the, the platinum. Then you can play like different games and shit. Um, but, which is cool, but it's like, yeah, if I just wanted to get my nostalgia out and just buy this game, I just want to play it for a certain amount of time, get my nostalgia out, and then, you know, maybe I'll come back to it when I want to. Not pay this damn membership and then forget about the damn membership and then, you know, like, shit, charging my damn card four or five months down the road. And, you know, like, all because, you know, I I was trying to be cheap at this moment. It was playing, and I got busy and forgot that I had the membership on there. And, you know, this shit been charging my damn card this whole time. So, um, like, I already got a couple of games, like, um, from my nostalgia, you know, like, on my PlayStation account, uh, on my PS4, yes, you're damn. Um, I have uh, The Warriors, because that game, I bought that game, though. I bought... Um, Made by Rockstar. I made. I bought um, um, Battlefield, Star Wars Battlefield Two, the better game. If you ask me, um, I bought that, and um, like for me to outlive my, but like to relive my nostalgia. Give me Star Wars Force Unleashed. Give me God of War Two. Give me. Jack and Dex, Jack 2, you know, Jack 3. Um, give me SmackDown versus Raw 2007. Because, like, if you play 2007, you, you don't got to go any further. Like, SmackDown versus Raw was cool. Um, graphics, you know, not too much. And the roster, not too much. Um, SmackDown versus Raw 06, you know, was just a better game of that. And I think SmackDown versus Raw 07. Um, it's just a perfected wrestling game. Like, it still holds weight to, like, now. We're in 2024 and 2025. Like, 2K 2025 about to come out, like, whenever. And SmackDown versus Raw is still better than majority of those games. You know, like, it got kind of wonky because they, they, they switched up the uh, the studio they were working with for 08 and 09. And I, I don't know how many SmackDown versus Raw they, they went after that guy stopped playing them. Um, but just graphics wise, roster wise, and you can create, um, created characters. Um, I think that game is perfection. The only thing that I would say is the issue is that you couldn't create finishers. I, I, I forget, I think in 06 or SmackDown vs. Raw, one of them you could, you could create finishers. Um, and they took that out. But away from that, you all the matches you want, you got them. You know, you want a handicap match, two on one, three on one. Um, I liked how you could wrestle. You, I like how you could wrestle women. You can't do that um, in these SmackDown in these in these wrestling games now. And I guess it's, you know not to promote violence, but I'm like, bro, fuck you. Like we promoted, they promoted violence. There was violence everywhere. Fucking Randy Orton punted Stephanie McMahon. You know, like uh, Linda McMahon got all kind of finishes done to her. You know, um, um, women got hit with chairs. Women got put through tables. Women got choke slam. Women got power bomb. Like, bro, it's equal opportunity. If you are a fucking wrestler, then and you step in that ring, then all that other shit go out the window. All that other shit go out the window. Whatever gender you from, whatever ethnicity you from, all that goes out the window, bro. Okay, you have to perform. And like a performance, if you can give a bump, then you can take one, okay? Because, you know, like, Steph needs to do that spot where she'll slap the shit out you. You know, freaking, I think Carlito spit in her face. Randy Orton, RKO her. You know, like, uh, um, a lot of people have done things to, to her. You know, shout out to Stephanie for taking them bumps, bro. But it's like, bro, um, um, not deviating from um, the topic. I'm just trying to make a point that, you know, it's just kind of corny um, with how, like, Centered everything is, and I'm not saying I'm not an advocate for hitting women. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying, um, 
it's just weird how nowadays everything is so censored. And, you know, within reason, you know, I don't want any fucking racist white dudes walking around calling me the N-word and shit. Like, no, I'm not saying that. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, um, freedom of speech, ayo. I had a bad day. That's why I had a bad day. You know, fuck my boss. You know, like shit like that. Like, bro, feed him a speech, bro. You know, like, 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 um, that's, that's why I'm glad we leave in the PG era. Um, but I'm turning this shit into a wrestling, um, a wrestling uh, post. I'm supposed to be talking about PS2 games, but nah, bro. It's like, there's so many amazing PS2 games that, um, you could just go back and play and just, and just have at it, man. And, um, I feel like this is for us. This is this is for us, man. This is for them '90s kids, man. You know, late early '90s kids, not you late '90s kids, and you fucking 2000s kids, because y'all y'all 23, 24 now. Like, no, fuck y'all. No, this this is for us. This is the 30. This this is the, the, the 28 and up club. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Yes, we're old. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you, young bastards. Gen Z motherfuckers, not nah, man. But yo, man, like, um, what games? Are y'all excited to get a chance to, re to replay? Like, if you, if you, maybe you threw your PS2 away because it didn't have value, you know, when the PS3 dropped and you should have kept that shit. Uh, maybe you, maybe you threw it away when the PlayStation 4 came out. That's what everybody does. When a new thing comes out, they get rid of the old. <sighs> but I don't know, man. Y'all tell me what games y'all, y'all, y'all want to relive that nostalgia, bro. Okay. Let me know. Peace.